Um, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Abba Father, we come before thy presence this morning. We ask that, dear Lord, you shall speak to us, King of glory. May I decrease as you increase, Jehovah, that, Lord, all of us, Jesus, shall live here, having heard that which you have purposed for all of us to hear. Lord, we pray that, Abba Father, may our hearts be fertile ground, Lord, that, Jehovah, these words that we shall hear in our heart, Lord, shall bear fruit in us, King of glory, that we shall bear a mark of difference, Jehovah, by the entrance of your word. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Come on, Aniona. Wave at me. Praise God. My name is Charity Mwehaki Kamau. Oh, Mabuti. <laughs> I am born again. I love the Lord as my personal savior. Um, I am married to one Mr. Mabuti. Um, and I am a mother of one. Eh, sijolo along the manner saying in a sahawingi kongaza ya inde lakini yote ni kwa mungu buwana asifiwe um this um if you're young young praise god lift your hand if you're young 35 and below buwana asifiwe praise jesus you're young come on you have volume praise god um the reason i said um if you're young uh, let me see you is because i love the young people i have been young i'm still young but i have been younger than i was now and i have served the lord in my youth and the one thing i am here to tell the young people is that the lord is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him praise god the lord loves young people the lord is passionate about young people. The Lord is jealous about young people. Kuna venye tu anapenda young people because we young people are the people who have the energy to spread the word of God far and wide. Praise God. So when I look at you young people who've taken your time to wake up and come to the house of the Lord, oh, I know there is a reward in heaven for you. Praise God. I know that the Lord, the way you've set aside sleep, the Lord is going to set aside so many things so that he comes and blesses you praise jesus so when i see you young people i am reminded many years ago of how i have served the lord diligently and i stand here as a testimony that the lord loves young people that the lord cares for young people that the lord is passionate and jealous for young people so if you're young keep serving the lord it is not in vain praise god it is not in vain buenas if he will let us get to the word of the day. So, we are going to be speaking about faith. And um, when I was asked to speak about this word, um, and the theme is faith as little as a mustard seed. And how that faith grows in us and begins to bear fruit in us. Praise Jesus. And so, um, the Bible speaks about um, how can the kingdom of God grow? And Jesus goes on to tell his disciples that it is like a mustard seed that if planted, a mustard seed is the smallest in Atoshana Kamakaleka Denguka green. That seed is very small. But when you look at the tree of the mustard seed, it is big. It is very big. Yani, you, I, can't, I don't know uh, what to compare it to, but it's a big, big tree. So Jesus is telling um, his disciples that the word of God or the kingdom of God is like that seed that is planted and then begins to bear to, to sprout and it sprouts and it sprouts and it becomes a big tree. So that is like the kingdom of God for us today. It starts with very little faith. Praise God. Very little faith. The Lord does not need us to have faith as big as the mustard seed, uh, as big as the mustard tree. He needs us to have faith as little as the mustard seed. Mungu haitaji tukwe na imani kubwa, anataka tukadogo. Because he knows with that small, he will water it and he will begin to make it sprout. The Bible says that all those who believed in him, praise God, everyone who believed in him. Why? Because it is that belief that the Lord waters, he gave the right to become the child of God. Why? Because it is that belief that sets us apart between those who know God and those who do not know God. It is that belief that decides who is of God and who is not of God. It is that 
that faith that makes a difference between how we live our lives as Christians and how we live our lives as people of the world. Why? Because the Lord needs us faith as little as a mustard seed. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Um, we look at our first uh, reading. And this reading... Um, the, the, the people of Israel had been surrounded um, and they'd been, uh, their camp had, be, had been surrounded and so they could not go out and no one could come in and it had happened for so long so much so that um, they began to have famine in their land imagine so much that you can't go out to buy food they can't, you can't, no one can come in to bring you food so you are surrounded so they were surrounded by the Syrian army and so they, were, they began to have famine in their own land and um, if you read Hapombele, it got to a point that women began to tell each other to pick him to toako leo alafu kesho tutapika wangu praise God, it had gotten to that point and so um, the, this, when these women told them um, each other that, so the first woman akapeana mtoto wakapika hiyo siku and then the next day mwenye alikuwa peana mtoto akaficha so now this woman was crying out to the king and was telling the king this woman has done me dirty. Ameniambia to pick a wangu alafu kesho tutapika wake, alafu ameficha wake. And so the king uh, began, uh, uh, said, tell Elisha that I am coming for him. That because amefanya adi tufike hapa. But it was not Elisha, it was the things of God. And so um, when Elisha had this message, um, the, the person that the king had sent to bring Elisha this message, the king was coming to kill Elisha, but alikuwa mutu. So you know the king used to send someone before, before Yafike. So when this person came and Elisha was like, by this time tomorrow, praise God, by this time tomorrow, we shall sell this thing so cheaply that people will begin to wonder. How? And this servant told Elisha, how can it be possible, even if God decided, I think I'll call a jelly, even if God decided to open the windows and the doors of heaven, it is not possible. Praise God. This is what that uh, servant told Elisha. And so Elisha was t uh, told him that you shall see it, but you shall not eat of it. Praise Jesus. You shall see it, but you shall not eat of it. So this is the story. So now the Lord decides to use four people four lepers let's look at lepers in fact the reason they were outside is because they were lepers and they could not be inside according to to israel culture at the time if you had um leper, leprosy you were supposed to stay outside the gates so then they stayed outside the gates not because uh, they were right but because then they had lepers so how get tangamana and however wakondani and so the lord decides to use four lepers to bring change. So these lepers are telling them uh, each other, ama wanambiana, ata tukika inje, tutakufa. Sindio? Na pia tuwezi ruhusiwa turudi kwa uh, the Israel camp. So what do we do? Si tuende tu huko kwa Syria, tuombe chakula. Wakituwa batatuwa tu. Na ata tukika hapa, tutakufa. These people were hopeless. When they looked at themselves, they, they were hopeless. They were like, whatever happens, happens. But the Lord decided to use these four people. And when they had the, the, the Syrian army, had like it was a whole army that was coming. Yani the Lord made the footsteps of four people to sound like chariots and horses. And you know, and a whole army. Buona sifiwe. Imagine four people. So the Lord needs four people in us. The Lord needs us to have like kadogo, like these four people. Praise God. Because when we have faith as little as a mustard seed, our, our steps will begin to sound like that of an army. Praise God. Our steps will begin to feel like to sound like those of chariots. And when the enemy sees us, he's going to see like it is a whole army coming. Why? Because we don't come alone. And um, the young people know there is a song by Victoria. It says, I got backing. Yani, I walk with God the Father. I walk with God the Son. So when I begin to show up, I'm not showing up by myself. I have an army behind me. Praise Jesus. That is the kind of faith the Lord needs us to have. So that now, even as we begin to conquer territories because now these people entered and um, they began to conquer that territory and they told they sent a word out to the king of Israel and told him come come and find that people have gone the Syrian army has fled but why did it flee because there these people came and they the Syrian army had like it was 
like it was um, a whole army. Praise Jesus. So when I look at faith, I am reminded of, the, of how big an impact it makes in our lives. Praise Jesus. And now, when we look at Hebrews 11 verse 1, Media team, please give me Hebrews 11 verse 1. What is faith? This thing to Naita, faith. What is this faith? What is this Imani? Media. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Give me this in NIV. Please. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Yani, we do not need to see tomorrow, but we already have faith that tomorrow is coming. Now, faith is the ability to remember, to, is the confidence in things we do not see. We do not know how tomorrow looks like. We do not know how our future looks like, but we know how our good God looks like. And so we begin to have faith, not in ourselves, but in who God is. Praise Jesus. So, faith is confidence in what we hope for. Let me tell you, hope is funny. Hope is wishy-washy, heavy. Hope is ingino na kango na sema na inaweza, na inaweza kosa. But at the end of the day, you, you tell yourself, have faith. I mean, have hope. But faith is the confidence. Yani, unakata kutoka hapa mahali umeamua, this is it. This is the way. Praise God. So when you have faith, it means your hope cannot be shaken. So it is the faith, is, is the confidence in what we hope for. Yani, when I want you to look at when you have confidence in something. Right now, whether we want it or not, as at now, Ruto is our president. For now. So he is confident about on June 23rd, 2024, he's the president of Kenya. We can't change that today. It may be changed later in future, but today it can't be changed. There is a confidence he has. Now imagine when you have a confidence that I am a child of God today. And so everything associated with my father, I get to inherit. Praise God. It is the confidence of what we hope for. It is the assuredness of things we do not see. Oh, how I wish someone understands that. It is the assuredness of what we don't see. We don't see how tomorrow looks like. We may be jobless and you do not have a job, but it is the assuredness that somehow, somehow, God is going to come and make a way. It is the assuredness that I may be sick today, but somehow, somehow, the Lord has, bring, has brought healing. It is the assuredness that, oh my God, I may not be married today, and people are looking at me and saying it is past my time, but somehow, somehow the Lord has prepared a mate for me. It is the assuredness that I may be barren today and people are looking at me and saying she is barren but somehow, somehow without knowing how the Lord is going to make a way. It is the assuredness that today I may look broke, I may look lost, I may look like I do not have a future but somehow, somehow my future is greater than my today. Praise Jesus. This is what faith does. It gives us the courage to keep going. It gives us the evidence of things we cannot see. Praise God. Now the word of God says, uh, if you read the book of Hebrew, I love the book of Hebrew chapter 11. It explains what faith did. And let me tell you, when you look at what the men of God did using faith, Yani Noah Liambiwa build an ark rain is coming and he did there was no sign of rain but Noah in godly faith decided to build an ark praise Jesus the Lord could be telling you prepare your CV because someone is bringing you a job no diploma the Lord does not need your degree he needs your obedience praise Jesus Praise God. The Lord does not need your qualifications. He needs your obedience. Because when he has your obedience and he has your faith, he, know he, he knows he can move the mountains in your life. Praise Jesus. Praise God. So, I'm here to tell young people, I'm here to tell old people that when we have faith as little as a mustard seed, the Lord is able to transform our lives. The Lord is able to change our situations. The Lord is able to call that, uh, we are able to call the things that are not as though they are. Praise God. Praise Jesus. So, when we go to Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. 
and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him K and KJV now for this please and KJV is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Praise God. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he, he, he who comes to God must believe that he is. Praise Jesus. And that he's, he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. As I started by saying, young people, when I watch you live your lives, I know and I am here as a testimony that the Lord is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. I know and I stand here with a sureness and with a confidence because I have seen God do it for me. I have seen God do it for those we serve God with in our ages. Praise Jesus. Because I have seen him come and literally deliver us from the pits of hell. I have seen him come and heal diseases. I have seen him come and make ways where there was no way. The Lord is a reward of the, those that diligently seek him. But as you do that, remember you must have faith in God first. Praise Jesus. You must even have a relationship with God. Because the word of God says that to anyone who believed, he gave the right to become the child of God. So even faith brings us to a place of relationship. Even faith brings us to a place of relationship with God as our father because it is impossible to please to please God without faith it is impossible imagine you can't please God with other things and you don't have faith even your giving here cannot please God if you don't have faith even your singing cannot please God if you do not have faith even your worship no matter how angelic it sounds it cannot please God without faith without faith it is impossible to please God do you understand the magnitude of faith in our lives? That the Bible says that with faith as little as a, mount, as a mustard seed, you can tell this mountain to move and it will move. It means we'll, be, we'll get mountains in our lives. It means we'll have challenges in our lives. But the difference between us and unbelievers is that us, we have faith as little as a mustard seed. So we have the ability to tell mountains move and they move. We have the ability to tell sicknesses, it is time for you to live, and they live. We have the faith to tell illnesses, cancer, situ diabetes, these things that doctors call big names, live, and they live. We have the faith to tell brokenness, live, and it lives. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Um, please give me Romans chapter two, 10, verse six, 17. Romans 10, 17. If you can see me, if you can hear me, wave your hand at me. So, we have heard what faith is. We have heard what faith does to us. But then how do we get this faith? Praise Jesus. Praise God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now this is what makes a difference between us and Christians who are lukewarm. We must begin to seek the word of God. We must begin to seek the word of God. You cannot be a Christian who does not read the word of God. You cannot be a Christian who is comfortable listening to other things, but you are not seeking the word of God because you need faith. And faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Let me tell you how faith works. Faith works like this, that we are told we are broke. And the fact when you look around, you are broke. But truth is, I want for nothing. Praise Jesus. Because the word of God says, is, because the word of God is truth. Praise God. Praise Jesus. So fact is, you are ill. That is a fact. But what is the truth? The truth is through the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. But would you know that without the word of God? Praise God. Praise Jesus. So you need the word of God to begin to speak the things of God in your life. You need the word of God to be able to build up your faith. Oh, I don't know if someone is hearing me this morning. You need the word of God to begin to transform your life. You need to hear the word of God. You need to eat the word of God. You need to meditate on the word of God. Because by doing so, you begin to reflect the things of God. You begin to walk with a confidence because you know that I belong to God and if I belong to God the things of God are mine praise Jesus praise God 
So faith comes to us by hearing and hearing the word of God. You can't be there as a Christian and forever unukoshi, unashinda simu, unashinda TikTok, unashinda Facebook, unashinda IG, and you don't take time to read the word of God. You will be a defeated Christian. Praise God. You can't stay there every morning. Unaona banya wazazi wetu walikuwa 7 p.m. ikifika news. 9 p.m. ikifika news. Na ila news ya saa moja, ndiyo hili ya saa tatu, tofauti ni luga. Hila ni akiswaili na hini akikuyu. Ki, eh, ki, eh, kingereza. Lakini haunge mtoa hapo. Lazima angesikiza zote. Ata kama liambua the same thing. Imagine that is how we ought to read the word of God. So that we keep hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. Praise Jesus. Praise God. So the kingdom of God. It grows in us by hearing and hearing the word of God. It grows in us by understanding that the things of God cannot come to us unless we believe. Praise God. And let me tell you, I look at um, faith and sometimes when I read this book of Hebrews 11, uh, a list of the people of faith, I, I call this book the, the, uh, the list of fame in the Bible, the list of faith in the Bible. So it has Abraham and Enoch and Rahab and Ruth. It has everyone, everyone you could think about and David and how through the things they did, they conquered and became who they are. And sometimes we look at it and we are like, we cannot relate. Because and yes, as it is, ata atukua. Ata saingine, ata okay, imagine ak inakaje, nikoshua mimi, unless ni tengenezoe jene yae, so let me bring it back home. I remember there was a time I was preaching um, when I was in high school, so many years ago. Um, and I was given the opportunity to speak. And I remember telling the, um, those guys that the, the Lord is able to open for us doors that certificates cannot open. Praise God. So you can imagine you go from four, you go preach, you preach, and you're telling people the Lord is able to open for do for us doors that our certificates cannot. See, just say my word, see some, some. Lakini the Lord does not really need our certificates. Those are qualifications of men, but the qualification of heaven is different. And so I did not know I was pr planting a seed those many days um, ago. So now ni memaliza shule, ni mem soma campus. So um, I took actual science. So 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 I God, I remember I told people that you are able to open doors that certificates cannot. So Lord, I am putting aside my certificate and I am bringing myself and I am telling you I do not know what I want but I know you know me. And I know you have a better plan for me. And this certificate, Kidogo, I ni pay Kenya ni nataka. So how about I put this certificate aside? Sasa ikuwa tuna deal mimi na wewe. Uniambie charity, this is where you're going. This is what you're going to do with your life. Or you just position me. I do not know how you just position me. Let me tell you, today I work as a data engineer. Data engineers are computer nerds. We have computer science. We are not going to have a major kubwa kubwa. And I look at myself and I tell myself, surely, how did I end up here? Everyone I ask, I'm, they ask me, "Ulifika uko aje na mbia tamimi sijui." It is the grace of God. But most importantly, it is because the Lord is able to open doors that certificates cannot. Praise Jesus. The Lord is able to open doors that your qualifications cannot. Praise God. The do Lord is able to open doors that men cannot open for you. Because if I look at myself and I look at what I do, I know for sure it has taken the hand of God. Praise Jesus. For sure it has taken the hand of God. So when I tell you I am here as a testimony, believe me, it is because I know if I was asked with my degree, ningekuwa uko nikitengeneza risk za venye watu watakufa, ndio tutengeneze pesa yenye tutawalipa mkikufa. You know, things that don't sound really cool because who is banking on, on people dying? 
oh sorry to anyone who's an actuary, <laughs> you do cool things. But most importantly, I'm saying the Lord looked at me and he knew somehow in me I'd drive in a computer science world. And the Lord gave me the skills. The Lord aligned people. And let me tell you when I say the Lord aligned people, she charity mkono. So when I do not know how to code, they'd start teaching me from scratch how to code. You can imagine how hard it is to be taught. And say, yo, you're working. See that you're not working. See that you're going there. So they are, they are teaching you when you're working in this company. So this company is more or less paying for you to be taught how to code. The things of God. Praise Jesus. Praise God. So the Lord is able to open doors. So when you speak faith, it is because the Lord is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, more than we can ask or imagine. But you need to have faith. Praise Jesus. Praise God. So, when I enter today to speak to people, I have the privilege to speak to people now um, who want to do computer science and who want to do data science and data engineering. And when I speak to them, I tell them, imagine what is most important is the ability to believe in yourself. Because you see now, you, when you incorporate space, you tell them, you need to believe in yourself. You don't need to start being, thinking, oh, sijui kuandika, sijui python, sijui kukukode, sijui nini. No, you, all you need is to believe in yourself. But imagine, if a little belief in yourself is able to make changes, how about a big belief in God? Praise God. Imagine if a small belief in yourself is able to make you move from one career to another. Through the help of God, imagine if we all walked with God. Praise God. And so I tell people, everywhere we go, me, I walk with this song, Kamea Victoria. I walk with God the Father. Walk with God the Son. I walk with God the Spirit. Why? All of them join. Because I have backing. Everywhere I go, I have backing. I walk with the host of angels. Why? Because I have faith in me. And I know that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Praise Jesus. Praise God. So without faith, it is impossible to please God. But the Lord is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Praise Jesus. Praise God. So as I wind up, I want us to think, faith as little as a mustard seed. With faith as little as a mustard seed, you are able to tell this mountain to move, and it shall move. You are able to tell anything to change in your life and it changes with faith as little as a mustard seed so let us seek the word of god let us make this word of god our daily bread the bible says david said i have hidden the word of god in my heart that i shall not sin against you praise jesus why because faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the word of god it doesn't come by hearing and listening to politicians. It doesn't come by hearing and listening to news anchors. It doesn't come by hearing and listening to other things that don't make sense. It comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Praise Jesus. Make this word of God your friend. Hide it so deeply in your heart that everywhere you go, no matter the circumstance that pops up, in your, pops, pops up in your life, you have an answer for it because you have the word of God hidden so deeply in your heart. Praise Jesus. Praise God. As I conclude, let us rise. We are rising to pray for ourselves that the Lord shall increase our faith. That the Lord shall change how we think that the lord shall stir in us faith in him pray for yourself this is not a prayer it is only you who knows the amount of faith you need it is only you who knows the amount of stirring up you need it is only you who knows the amount of faith that you need to transform your lives and how much you want god and how much you desire for the kingdom of god to land in your heart so only you know the amount of, of faith that you need and lord only needs a mustard seed so you begin to pray dear lord we need faith abba father stirring 
Nebuchadnezzar up faith king of glory that Jehovah everywhere we go Jehovah we shall be carriers of your faith king of glory we shall be carriers of your faith king of glory Jehovah that whatever circumstances comes to our lives king of glory Jehovah to tell on kwa imani yako mfame that Jehovah we shall begin to be that which you have called us to be king of glory that Jehovah king of glory this word shall bring light unto our feet Jehovah how I pray king of glory that Jehovah your faith shall fill us up oh God father we are empty vessels without you king of glory how we desire Jehovah to be filled with your faith how we desire Jehovah king of glory to be filled with your faith Abba, father so that this faith can make a difference in our lives Jehovah how we ask that king of glory utatuongoza father walk with us oh God teach us to trust you oh Lord give us faith in you lord a faith so firm lord that nothing can shake it oh god a faith so firm king of glory that nothing can move us from your will up a father a faith so firm king of glory that is planted deeply in you jehovah that even when they, we are surrounded like the uh, israelites who are surrounded jehovah we shall not move from you lord we shall understand that we are more than conquerors in you christ jesus we ask Jehovah that our words, that our speech, Lord, that our actions, that the meditations of our heart, Lord, shall be filled with your word, Lord, so that, Lord, our faith shall be made strong. So that, Lord, our, Father, our faith shall have influence in the way we live our lives and in the way people around us live their lives, Lord. We thank you for the privilege to be found in your house and thank you for the privilege to hear your word today. May it grow in us and make an impact in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.